I'm Kelsey Dickinson with your NBC 26 News Update. The trial of Kyle Rittenhouse continues into its fourth day. Today we expect to hear from more investigators and other people who were in Kenosha the night of the shooting. Social media videos took center stage in day two of testimony. The jury watched many videos that prosecutors say show Rittenhouse and parts of the shootings. Between objections, Judge Bruce Schrader stressed the importance of weighing each piece of evidence. With the latest edition of the kid-sized vaccine doses approved by the CDC, local clinics and hospital systems are gearing up to give out the shots. Prevea is administering the latest doses at 11 different clinics across the state. It starts Monday in Green Bay. Some local CVS pharmacies will distribute the kid-sized vaccines as soon as Sunday, and Bell & Health is starting its rollout on Friday. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers tested positive for COVID-19. He now faces a 10-day quarantine and will miss at least one game. The NFL Network says instead of getting vaccinated, Rodgers received a, quote, homeopathic treatment to raise his antibody levels. Backup quarterback Jordan Love will make his first NFL start on Sunday against the Kansas City Chiefs. Kickoff is set for 325. Happy Thursday to you. I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. Waking up to some below freezing temperatures once again, but don't feel too bad. Lexington hitting 27 as their overnight low as well. So we're on the brink of a warm up here. Today we're going to rise into those mid to upper 40s with mostly sunny skies, calmer winds. Then by tonight, crashing back to right around that freezing mark, flirting with it under partly cloudy skies again. And tomorrow, abundant sunshine as we rise to the low 50s. But the thing about tomorrow is those winds are going to be strong, gusting up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. That's all right. That's what's giving us this warm up upper 50s by Saturday. And then Sunday we soar into the mid 60s with mostly sunny skies. Don't forget that Saturday night at 2 a.m. Sunday morning we get an extra hour of sleep as we roll our clocks back.